Those who know Jared Lee Loeffner say he is a loner, alienated, and unstable. He was just bizarre and strange. Debbie Scheidemantel taught Loeffner at Pima Community College. Last September, after an angry anti-government rant in class, she called police. I was worried about my safety and I was worried about the safety of the other students. Loeffner also left an online trail of anti-government videos. On a YouTube slideshow, he wrote, the government is implying mind control and brainwash on the people by controlling grammar. On his MySpace page the morning of the shooting, Loeffner apparently typed, goodbye, and dear friends, please don't be mad at me. I had a semi-automatic pistol, and he went in, he just started firing, and then he ran. Authorities tell CBS News that Loeffner's attack on Congresswoman Giffords was not partisan. He went after her, they think, because she was a symbol of government. He may also have been upset after reportedly asking Giffords this question at a 2007 event. What is government if words have no meaning? Giffords did not answer. Loeffner's former friend Bryce Tierney says Loeffner never got over it. He seemed to dwell on the fact that she wouldn't answer his question. I think that was just like the start of it. On Sunday in a safe inside Loeffner's Tucson home, investigators found an envelope. On it was Congresswoman Giffords' name in the words, I planned ahead and my assassination. Officials say Loeffner signed it. We need more than one ambulance, there's more than one person down. A guy came to the uh, Safeway and started shooting. Loeffner used a 9mm semi-automatic pistol he bought at this Tucson sporting goods store on November 30th for $500. The purchase was legal. We've learned that he had at least 90 bullets. The 22-year-old lived with his parents in this middle-class Tucson neighborhood where they seem to have had few friends. People are so isolated now, they don't know who's living next to them. Despite his anti-government feelings, Loeffner tried to enlist in the Army, but was rejected for failing a drug test. He was suspended from community college on September 29th because of his erratic behavior. The school told him he needed a mental health evaluation to return. Loeffner dropped out. He would clench his fists and grin. Former classmate Stephen Cates was not surprised when he heard what Loeffner allegedly did. He was so afraid Loeffner would bring a gun to class someday, he tried to be friends with him so he would not get shot. It was very apparent that he was not on the same level as everyone else. The crime scene here tonight in Tucson is still blocked off, as you can see. And we learned late this afternoon that the FBI has a new piece of information for their investigation. They actually have surveillance camera video from inside this grocery store that captured part of the shooting spree as it happened. Katie. All right, Ben Tracy, Ben, thanks so much for that report.